Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. Morning, Eddie. 
Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good, because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue them. Hopefully you can find them before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Arrivederci. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me.
going, Luca? Riverside. Ruski's junkyard, maybe. Nah, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. The slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. Excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? You know how to get into the slaughterhouse over here. And, uh, what would you be looking for in there? Yeah, my dog ran in there. I'm trying to find him. Your dog, huh? Yeah. You know how to get inside or what? First of all, let me tell you something. You are a terrible liar. And second of all, unless your dog has keys to that building, the only way he could have got in is through the sewer. Sewer, so, uh, huh? All right, thanks.
drink it. They don't know that I know that they know that I know. They don't know that I know that they know that I know. They say that I say that they say that I'm crazy, but I know that they know that I know. Drink, I need a drink. Happy. Happy in the throat. Always coming. They want to steal, but I won't give it. It's mine. I will drink it. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Dog could be a problem. Shut up, buddy. What's wrong with Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh, if Luke could just stop by to pick up some steaks, I'm gonna kill somebody.
Oh, Jesus, would you shut up? What, is somebody there? There's nobody there, see? So shut up before we turn you into meatloaf. Move it, assholes. Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Time to move. Fuck. I hope the boss knows what he's doing here. by myself.
Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Hey, what was that screaming? Nothing. One of them pigs must have squealed. What? Nah, that was no pig. That sounded like... You got shit in your ears. That was a pig. Just ignore it. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Yeah, but... Next month. Shut the fuck up. Get back to work, or it ain't gonna be the only pig that's squealing. And what are you gonna do then? I was thinking of maybe, you know, okay. becoming a voice actor. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Hey, don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go.
Yeah, be right there. I think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into this? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's, it's just a question how whether I'm going to be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Stop. over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now, anyway. <laughs> That had a hurt. <laughs> oh. ah. This guy sure can't take a beating, huh? This is gonna be a messy one. You don't know 
Oh, you're fucking with, kid! You fuck with the wrong guys, assholes! Oh, for crying out loud. Will you get me down, please? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just... Don't forget about me, okay, fellas? Vito, let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. Get out of here. Go, go, go! Move! 
Shooting, Vito. Let's go, come on. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Yeah, before he makes any more fucking phone calls. to be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Join me? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the invitation, but I yeah, think I'll pass it. Uh, blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted. 
hired me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get clean. And up. tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luke. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. He's going down on him, and he's going, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, Jesus Christ. Was that you? Vito? Oh, Jesus. Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so of Luca's bodyguards who ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. A good afternoon, oh. Oh, Mr. Scaletta. Arrivederci.
Welcome to our store, sir. Oh, please, sir, be quick. You smell like the Limburger. I hope I satisfied you, sir. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. You know, I made good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. And since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? 
Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. Your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's consul. You might wonder why I take this risk man. again after spending You're almost right. seven years in a can. You see, where Same I grew up, lies, if you was the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, was too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally protection. be somebody. Some cash and let the good times roll.